Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. The teams then, Italy against Spain. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beckley. Glad to be here, Peter, and I'm ready to rumble. for the game. Looks to slip it through. Florenzi. Chip through. El Sharawi! Sees it out of harm's way. De Chilio. Spain looking really energetic early on. It is a high press. Florenzi. De Chilio. Now it's Candreva. Where to from here? Deftly done. Point blank header! It's broken loose! Shots on! Pella. It's bounced back off the post! And he's there to hoop it away. Cesc Fabregas hoops it upfield. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Florenzi and it's Pella Damian Perolo Pella passes it through out towards the flank Florenzi oh it's opened up nicely for him has a shot goal Italy and Italy score first Another piece of really good defending. Spain being made to look sloppy in possession here. Pedro plays it long. And out to safety. And it's Silva. Silva floats one over. Damian. Florenzi. Damian. Perolo. Now it's Pella. Tries the route one option. Right through the middle. To be fair, that was tough for the keeper to handle. Cesc Fabregas. Silva. Looks like a good ball through. Fence has got rid of that. And the half-time whistle goes. Not the most convincing of displays. They could certainly do much better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence and not rush into mistakes. Here we go again. Well, I'm sure the managers talk the talk and now it's time for these players to walk the walk and deliver a rousing response to a rousing team talk. And it's Iniesta. Got 
got into a good position, but he may need to hold things up. Looks like a good ball through. It's Kancheva! In for the follow-up! Spectacular from Pella! Two to the good! They have breathing space! Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. I think when you can see the goal like that, the manager has to start questioning his personnel because to allow someone into that position, totally unmarked, I think that's reckless in the extreme, I really do. Jordi Alba. Now it's Silva. Silva with a delicate ball. Back of the net! Back to within one! Interesting! What a great header, got plenty on that. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Pedro. Cesc Fabregas. Iniesta. Silva. And it's Jordi Alba. Looks to slip it through. And he's onside. Adjuris! Appearance and very necessary. Iniesta, Pedro, Maduris, that's it, and now what? Oh, terrific run to latch onto it, but the finish is all wrong. Silva. Jordi Alba. Morata tries a through ball. Oh, should have been the equaliser. Yeah, he was just a little too eager to get his chance away there, and it could have level matters. Florenzi, whose goal scoring skills have already been evident. Now it's Florenzi. He's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. It's Morata! Spectacular from Morata! Well, that's something that will make the manager proud, because they dug in deep then and they've got their leveller. Oh, that was a close call, but for me, he timed his run to absolute perfection there to stay just onside, and there's still a lot to do, you know, but I think he's tucked that away really well. We have ourselves a real game here. Listen, with the momentum that goal gives them now, they may well push for a winner before the 90 minutes is up. Players don't like extra time, believe me. Damian does well to read it and intercepts. This is intriguing. Next goal critical. Yes, and what a battle this has been. Neither is showing any sign of backing off. It's a tribute to wonderful attitude to put everything they've got into attempting to gain that vital edge. Morata passes it through. You can 
get that clear. And it's Koke. Kandreva positions himself well and cuts it out. Gets it upfield. Thiago knocks it towards the front. Fourth official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. So nothing between them in 90 minutes, and we are in for extra time. Yeah, no daylight between these two sides, but I have to say, neither side really did enough to find a winner. They just cancelled each other out. So to clarify, extra time will follow. Spain get us going in extra time. Spain displayed great characters, of course, extra time from what looked a pretty ominous situation. The question now is, can they go on to win it? It is doable. Crunching tackle. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. Damian, Florenzi. Oh, great run, magical! Looks like a good ball through. Florenzi. It's come loose. Driving on, he could shoot here. The home support won't enjoy that. Or maybe the tension around this game played a part in that because he should have put them ahead then. Benucci. Florenzi. Damian, Florenzi. Koke, aim forward. And he's through on goal. And Therese hits it. Goal, Spain! And the comeback is complete. Absolutely thundered in. Keeper, no chance. Is it just me or did he make that look very, very easy? That was terrific skill and composure from him. He finished with such a plum. They are right into last chance territory. Goes wide. To Chilio. Candreva. Now it's Florenzi. And it's Pella. Silva. Jordi Alba. Silva. Pella. Koke. And that's that. Well, somehow they turned it round. Every ounce of energy, emotional, physical, mental, is spent. That is some win. Your final thoughts, Jim? Oh, listen, if you've got that kind of power and, and that kind of pace in your team, I think you'll plough through most teams. Those central areas tend to be very congested, lots of traffic going on, but it wasn't a problem for them. Well, thanks for your company, Jim, and a very good day to you.